Hello everyone. How are you all? Welcome to SDS Chess World and I hope you are doing well. Today we will going to see a match in round 3 of Ultibox Norway Chess 2018 and this is the match between world chess champion Magnus Carlsen and Grandmaster Arnjan Livon, winner of Norway Chess 2017. So before going to it don't forget to subscribe the channel and hit that bell icon. Now you're done that let's go for it. In round 2 all the games are drawn. So Magnus Carlsen has a white pieces here and Arnjan Leon has a black pieces. And this is the round 3 of Ultibox Norway Chess 2018. So Carlsen started with e4 queen pawn opening and e5 by Leon. Knight to f3, attacking on the pawn, and knight to c6, uh, which is the continuation of queen pawn opening. And after that, bishop to b5 was played, which is called as the rural appeal opening. Here, knight to f6, Berlin defense, attacking on this pawn over here. But here, Magnus goes for castling. And after that, knight takes on e4, taking the pawn over here, and uh, rook to e1, attacking on the knight. Knight retreat on knight to d6, and And this knight is now attacking on this bishop now here magnus has choices uh, here he can take this knight with the bishop and after that pawn takes on c6 uh, here uh, rook takes on e5 with check or uh, he can go for knight takes on e5 and now you can see that uh, there is a threatening move that is this knight can move on uh, this uh, c6 square taking this pawn or best move will be knight can go for this g6 square and there will be a discovered check from this rook but magnus goes for knight takes on d5 so to stop this discovery over here leon goes for bishop to e7 and now there is threat this knight can take this bishop over here So uh, Magnus takes his bishop back on bishop to f1. After that, uh, knight takes on e5, taking knight and rook takes on e5. There is a knight exchange on e5. Here black castles and d4 supporting this rook. Also uh, here this bishop can develop. Also queen can go for this f3 square or d3 square. Depends. Uh, after that bishop to f6 was played attacking on the rook uh, rook goes back to rook to e1 and after that a knight to f5 was played now this knight and this bishop is attacking on this pawn and it is only supported by the queen so magnus pushes that pawn on d5 and now magnus is grabbing this uh, two square that is e6 and c6 Here Leon goes for rook to e8. Uh, now taking over this e file. But before this, there is a rook on e1 who is uh, controlling this e file. So Magnus goes for rook exchange. Rook takes on e8 with check, and queen takes on e8. Now uh, this queen is controlling this e file. But here Magnus goes for queen to d3. Now this queen is attacking this knight, also protecting this pawn over here. So natural move will be uh, d6 and uh, which is played in the game d6. Now this uh, developing a pawn over here, uh, grabbing some space. Also this bishop is protecting this knight over here. After that knight to d2 was played, developing a knight and this knight is going for this f3 square and here Leon stops it with bishop to d5. Uh, this is just attempt. Uh, if this knight moves, then there is a bishop exchange, and both the player is going to lose a bishop pair. Magnus don't hesitate for it. He goes for knight to f3, and uh, here is a bishop exchange. Bishop takes on c1, and rook takes on c1. And now you can see that uh, white pieces are so called uh, developed over here. This knight is developed. Queen is doing a great over here. This rook can come to e1, and this bishop is uh, supporting the king. Also, this uh, bishop can develop, but uh, not now. Here, bishop to d7 was played, developing this bishop over here. Also, uh, rook is connected with the queen now. and uh, taking the benefit of it rook to e1 was played now taking over this file and of course then this queen can stay over here queen has a choices either to go with the king or away from the king and leon decided for queen to d8 and now you can see that uh, this rook is controlling this e file and uh, this bishop is looking over this knight and magnus plays a really nice move that is queen to c4 and now question why this uh, queen to c4 move uh, now we can see that queen is keeping eye on this c7 pawn and uh, this queen is only protector of it so this queen can't move 
definitely Leon want to develop his queen on this beautiful f6 square so that he can develop his rook over here but uh, this is not going to possible due to this move now due to this move uh, queen have to stay over here and due to this queen this rook can't develop so uh, this is a really nice move after that g6 was played now you can see this knight can go for this uh, g2 square where it can develop on other squares h3 now going uh, for this knight over here because this g4 move is coming so knight retreat on knight to g7 after that uh, rook to e3 was played uh, developing the rook over here and uh, this knight can move now because this knight don't need to keep eye on this e1 square now a5 was played grabbing space over the queen side and Magnus replied with a4 stopping that pawn. Knight to e8 was played. Now you can see that this knight can go for this f6 square uh, but Magnus stops it with queen to d4. And now uh, you can say that there is a queen for the safety over here then why it can't develop. If this knight goes for this f6 square then this knight has opportunity to jump on knight to g5 and uh, now you can see this rook can come over this f3 square and attack on this knight. This is the possibility. Uh, Leon goes for knight to g7 repeating moves. Uh, Leon don't mind to draw this game and after that g4 was played now we can see the excellency of this move because uh, white is dominating development of black you can see that this pawn on a4 d5 and g3 is stopping the development of this bishop and this knight this knight can develop over here only development square for this bishop that are covered by this pawn so this is a really nice move after that c4 was played, uh, Leon just want to take over this pawn otherwise his piece can't develop but Magnus goes for c4 he just want to preserve this pawn on d5 square which is an uh, excellent square for this pawn and after that knight to e8 was played again uh, repeating move after that queen to f4 and, uh, you, and you can see this queen is moved from here so king can develop now and uh, king goes for king to g7 supporting this f6 square now this knight can jump over here but uh, here magnus goes for rook to b3 attacking over this b7 pawn and uh, to stop this rook to b8 was played by leon uh, supporting this pawn over here and uh, knight to g5 and you can see that carson is threatening to take this pawn on f7 and leon plays inaccurate move over here that is knight to f6 and why this is an inaccurate move because here Leon see that this rook can anytime jump for f3 and there is a double attack on this knight. This is what happened. Rook to f3 was played and now there is double attack on this knight. Uh, there are two supporters this king and this. And uh, you can see that this knight can jump on this e4 square uh, so that taking this knight there is triple attack and there is no defender for it. And here uh, Leon goes for h6 attacking the knight knight goes for knight to e4 and definitely this knight is going to fall now up to this move uh, leon has already spent his lots of time after that uh, he just go for knight takes on e4 now magnus has a chance to grab this pawn on f7 or either he can take this knight and he just go for attack queen takes on f7 we check king have to move king goes for king to h8 and queen takes on g6 and on this move Arnion Leon uh, resigns the game and now why he resigns uh, because there are lots of threat you can see uh, if here uh, this knight retreat on this f3 square then definitely rook can capture this knight also uh, if he develop with the bishop to e8 attacking the queen but uh, it is a really wrong move because rook to f8 is going to checkmate and uh, if uh, he just go for queen to g8 uh, then queen takes on h6 with check queen to h7 and queen takes on h7 with check king takes the queen and rook to f7 with check and this bishop is falling king to g8 and rook takes the bishop and there is a three extra pawn on board which are pass pawn because there is no restricting pawn on the board so this is completely winning for magnus also uh, 
there is a best possibility that is uh, and this move is suggested by the engine uh, that is going to g5 now attacking the queen but here magnus can simply capture the knight on e4 and uh, he's a piece up uh, also there is a uh, two extra pawn on the board and uh, black has uh, not a good development of course you can try for c takes on d4 uh, here c takes on d4 and rook to e8 attacking on the queen but uh, queen can go for this uh, queen to c2 and after that he can develop the bishop also there is threat of queen to c3 the, this king is unsafe on this corner so after all watching this and this uh, queen takes on g6 only only one uh, resigns the game uh, excellent game plays by uh, magnus carlsen and uh, up to this move uh, what we can see that is this this move uh, knight f6 uh, there is all okay um, here instead Arnion goes for development of this queen and then uh, there is a possibility of queen exchange uh, if queen can exchange then this knight can develop and this is okay condition for black uh, if uh, queen don't take queen can go for this uh, d2 square then also uh, queen can go for this and uh, this is going to be continue so easily so here magnus carlsen uh, win his second game uh, he has a two and a half point lead in the tournament with the one point and uh, this is going to be a really interesting tournament let's see what happen there is a uh, full chances of magnus to win this tournament but we will see uh, if any twist happen so i am looking for the round four and let's see if there is another interesting match and i will post the video so i hope you like this game uh, if yes then go ahead hit the like button and share this video with your friends also please don't forget to subscribe the channel to subscribe hit that red circle to get the future notifications hit the bell icon and uh, you can join me on facebook google plus twitter you just have to search sd's chess world and uh, you can watch my previous videos here thank you so much for watching this and i will see you in the next one